Hey guys, Brent Hull here. Do you have a historic window that's painted shut? Are the cords cut and they don't work? Do you have broken glass? You're wondering how to do that? I'm gonna show you the top three fixes for your historic window today. Come join me. Okay guys, so the first hack I'm gonna show you is getting the windows operable again. Now, this window, I went to a salvage yard. They have windows like this that have been taken out of houses. And really, you've got the three things here that are wrong or the reason windows aren't working. Either the cords have been cut, right? The, the weights that are were in the wall are stuck down there. The glass is broken or the, or the window won't open, right? So this window won't open. Now, the reason why is, is because it's been painted and caulked shut. Now the tools that you're gonna to need to get a window operable again are actually pretty simple and pretty easy. They are a five-way, okay? This is called a five-way because it's a painter's tool that has kind of a, a nail puller, a scraper, a cleaner for your rollers, you know, all the, all the different things that you're gonna need, a bottle opener for beer, which of course painters need. And so what I've gotta do is I've gotta unstick these lines. And so right under here, and on this line, okay, it's been cocked shut. And if I push this five-way into there, I can feel it getting soft. And so what I'm gonna do is come in here and just cut that line. Now, I can also do it with a utility knife, right? And so I can stick my utility knife in there and then just draw down, right? The other thing we can do is just take a hammer and just drive it into that line. And wh watch what happens when I do this on this side here. When I drive my hammer, the five way in there, see how that line breaks up all the way down the window, right? So now I can actually move my knife like that and I can see the window moving so I know I've got it broken loose. Same thing at the top, I can feel it already breaking loose, right? Now I just have to break it at the check rail, which is right here drive my five way down in there. And I'm just breaking paint lines, but I can see that it's already moving, right? Now you have to go to the outside. Now lucky for me, I can just spin this window around and do the same thing on the outside. Now, because this isn't weighted, right? There's no weights here. This might fall on me, but again, I'm gonna cut this line, okay? I'm gonna cut this line, and I'm gonna cut that line, all right? Moving this window, I can feel it moving, right? I'm gonna take my five-way and my hammer, kind of just make sure everything's loose. So I've got it loose. The only place it isn't loose is that check rail, right? I'm gonna take a uh, pry bar like this and I'm gonna put it up in here, right? I'm just gonna see about moving this down. I'm just forcing this down. And there it goes, I just felt it move. Fixing a window, there's not a lot of brain power, it's a lot of just kind of getting in here and pushing and moving. Because this window's been taken out, I'm kind of moving the frame more than I am the window. But I know I've cut it on the outside, so I'm gonna go back into the inside, make sure all of these lines are broken. And realize that's the only thing keeping this window from, from opening right now is, is, is caulk and paint, right? There's nothing technical that's happened that's keeping this window from operating. Okay, so it's starting to get a little bit crusty, okay? And I've got this thing broken loose. And if I just push hard, this thing's gonna drop down, okay? Right, so now the window is loose. Now, breaking a window loose, basically this is a, a muscle power project, right? I cut the paint and then I just start moving this window back and forth. I am breaking apart years decades sometimes of paint, residue, caulk, and so it's hard, it, it, it gets difficult. But getting your window working again, let's say you, your, your weights aren't cut, let's say your glass isn't broken, but the windows are just stuck, break that paint line inside and out, push real hard up and down, and that window will start working again. Last thing is, guys, is once the windows work free like this, you can take some wax, just car wax, carnauba wax, something, a paste wax and start running it up and down your tracks. That will get your window working really easily and really well. So guys, just realize that it's paint and caulk that is keeping this window from working, right? Just 30 years ago, the painter, we don't use the windows anymore. We've got air conditioning, they caulk and paint it shut. That's all you're breaking loose. Inside and out, you can get your windows working again. It's pretty easy. 
You certainly don't need to be buy new windows. This is a great window hack, it's something you should be able to do at your house. So that's part one, guys, getting your window working again. Follow me for part two and part three when we fix the glass and fix the weights and the cords that have been cut in the past. Guys, I'm really excited to share these hacks with you because I wanna see your windows working again. Do not throw them out. They're long lasting, they're awesome. So send me pictures, info at Brent Hull. Love to see your progress. You can direct message me on Instagram. We do follow that, Whole Millwork Hull Homes. I'm Brent Hull, thanks for watching.